Hey everybody, it's Bryce with Better Place. Is a website overwhelming to you? Not sure where to start? Not sure what to do? I want to offer a great free tool from Google. It's called Google Sites. And in this, you're able to create a simple yet effective and amazing looking website for your church or ministry event. This site, again, completely free. The only cost is you have to buy a domain name. But you can get one of those really for $12 a year, and I'll show you how to do that in this process. But for $12 a year, can you beat that? An amazing free website. If you need help in this process, I offer one free coaching call. You can click that in the description below. Also, if you're seeking to learn how you can add value to your community, make your community a better place to live, you can click the link below for the Discover My Better Place free PDF that takes you through that discovery process. But I'm excited to show you how this product, uh, Google Sites, works and how you can have a great church or ministry event website. Let's go. All right, so here we go. You're going to go to Google. And once you go to Google, you're just going to simply type in Google Sites. See the Google Sites pop up first. Click on it. And it's going to bring you into the main database. Again, for this, you need to have a Google account. So if you need to look up how to make a Google account, you can do that. Uh, but in here, you're going to see right here, there's an opportunity to have templates right here, or you can start from blank. So if you want to start from blank, you can see here as it logs in, it's going to begin to build your page. On the right-hand side, you're going to see what you can enter into this. All right. Here, let's just say we want you're going to name your church. All right. So I started building mine over there, Transformation Church. Okay. Kind of see how, you know, if I need to make it a little smaller to fit, whatever. You know, I'm just going to highlight it. You know, I'll make it smaller. Okay, boom, I got it right there. Let's say I don't like the spacing of it. Okay, now it's in the middle. All right, let's say I want to add a tagline. I just tap it. I can add text. Say I want to put it in the middle. Make it a little bit bigger. Great. Up here, you can enter your church's name again. I'm going to add a logo. So you can upload your logo to this. It'll be in the right-hand corner. All right, the other thing you can do is you can add a, uh, an image. You can, you can put an image in the background. So let's say select image. You can either have one you want to put in there, uh, or maybe you're going to just put one in here that you're fine uh, on, on here. Let's say people smiling, right? It's a good, good opportunity for church to have some people smiling. Let's say you just scroll down to see what you, what you like or what you want to find. Click on this, and what it does is it'll kind of adapt it to make, adjust it to make it so it's a little more readable. All right, that's your front cover. And with this, you can also fool around. You can mess with your header type, title, large banner, cover, whatever you want to do alongside of that. Uh, and then let's say next thing you want to do is you want to add something that talks about when your when your service is. So you can just simply go join us, type in worship, 10 a.m. coffee. 11 a.m. I want to add. Right here, I'm going to add this one this time. Boom. All right. Now, let's say you want to add with this, you can insert a Facebook link. Okay, your social links. Click social links. You can add them all in here. So let's say Facebook.com. You can add a picture with it. You can upload it or you can look for it yourself. Just go to Google Images, type in Facebook, boom. You can click one, insert it, all right? You can go to YouTube. Do the same thing. I want that one. Insert it. All right. Click insert. Now they're going to go in here. 
All right, let's just say you don't like how this looks spaced out. The nice thing about this is kind of a lot of things are drag and drop. I take this, I'm going to put it right there. See the blue line? It shows it's going to go right underneath there. So now it's all, all one piece. So you can do that with a lot of the different things that you do. Let's take this, and let's take this a step further to something I've already built out. Again, here's now something I built out even more. The join us part, I put Sunday Sermon on there. So simply you come here to inserts and you click YouTube. Here comes the link, you put it in there, put it on the thing. All right, I put I put a, a map on there. So you can go down here and you can go to Google Maps. Put in the, put, you put in the location of where you're located. It'll enter it in there and put the map right in there. I've also done a connect card, which is really cool. So I made this in Google Forms. I simply click form and because I made it in there, the form will come up. All I do is I click it and I insert it. This is a great way to do it, a simple online connect card as well. Pretty neat with that. The other thing that I've done is I've taken my color scheme and in my themes, I've simply taken my color and I've made my own, I've put in the number for the color. So again, you might need help with that. You might need to go find it, but you can make that. There's different themes you can pick for your website as well. Also with your website, you want to map, map out your pages. You can do a home about us section, which uh, you know you can have there, which I've created a, a, our team in our team section. I've changed the background picture. Uh, I put in what we believe in there. Uh, you can, you know, so I just I simply copied and pasted it from a website on there. I have a media page. I have a gift page. You can add pages like this. Simply add page. Simple. Goes and it's there. Again, you want to change the image. You want to change the header type for that specific page. You can. The other really great thing now is once we have, once we believe we have built our site out, you can go to preview. Check out your site. This is what it looks like on a computer. So you might say, oh, this banner or this header doesn't look great maybe on the computer, but down here you can see what's it look like on a cell phone. A cell phone looks totally different. You get a really cool view of what this would look like on a cell phone. Great to see. A lot of people are gonna check out your, uh, your website on a cell phone. This is what it would look like on a tablet. Once you're done with that, simply just hit the back button. It'll take you back into where you started. Now, let's say, for instance, your give page, maybe you have an out external thing. So you go to your insert and you embed it. Put in your link for your embed and you just stick it right in there. You can do the same thing with your media or other external links that you use, you can put right in there. Uh, there's a lot of options of what you can do with this, with this site. Let me take you to one more uh, site that I've built is almost a landing page. And you can check it out some other things you can do with this as well. So this is a, a, the, the Better Place site. It has a link I put in there. I've customized the color. Uh, it has the, the like, let, that's what a, a button would look like with the link. So if I click on this, it has the link to where it goes to. I can name it. So you can do that. I've done the thing, same thing with my social media. All right, I've done some other links and a testimonial. And again, I just did simple things like you can go here, you can change the color of the section or you can put in an image behind it. You can just really fool around to see how, what you really like and how you want to see your page to look like. And again, if you want it to look a certain way, then you can go to the preview and see what it looks like. Also is a footer. So in the footer for this one, I simply just made it a question. You can edit the footer by clicking on there. If we go back here to the better place, uh, to the uh, Transformation Church, the footer, you can, I just put information for the church. So however, however you really want to use your footer, you're able to do that. Now, here's the big thing. You might say, is this really free? Well, you need a domain. So you go here to settings, and you can go custom domains. So you can start a setup, and you can either buy a domain, select a domain from Google Domains, or use a, a domain third party. Let's click buy a domain. Click next. And let's say you want uh, transformation church.org. Let's see what comes up. Never know. Okay, so some of these are a little bit a little bit more difficult because it is more of a uh, you know normal church name, but transformation uh, churchlive.com is there. And so maybe it doesn't work for what you want. Maybe I'm going to say transformrome.org. Okay, so transformrome.org is a site. It's $12 a year. 
I, all you gotta do is click buy, go through the buy process, and you're good to go. Then you then once you get done with your site, you're simply gonna click over here. You're gonna click the publish button that's right here. And that will then give you the ability to uh, be able to publish your site. Again, with these things, you can just begin to fool around here. You can look in your settings of, you know, the viewer tools and brand images. You can add in, you know, specific colors that you want to add in. And you can click with full out of the navigation to click if you want it side or top or color or transparent. And those are things you can just really mess around with. Um, and just click the back button if they don't work. So again, to create this is absolutely free. And imagine now you can have a free, awesome website through Google Sites uh, with just a $12 year domain name that I believe you probably can find something to fit that for $12 a year. You can have a great looking website that can give people great steps and great connections to next places. Let's take a look at this Better Place uh, site real quick. Again, on the computer, looks, looks good, looks smooth, simple, not much there. On the phone, again, this is what it look, would look like on the phone for people. A lot of great things you can do right here with Google Sites. Give it a try. See if it's a good fit for your church. A lot of great opportunity to be able to do that. If you need any help, you get one free coaching call. You can get a hold of me. Click the link in the um, description below, and I'd love to help you out.